A group of junior high students proving to the world that they have what it takes. The students at Shelby Junior High getting ready for a high stakes national competition. And yes, some assembly is required for what they're trying to achieve. You can't have a rocket that's too short. I'm sure you've heard the phrase, it's not rocket science. 862. But in this case, it really is with middle schoolers. Seriously, though, 150 miles an hour is pretty quick, though. But not just any middle schoolers. Two teams from the Shelby Rocket Club at Shelby Junior High have been drafting, <laughs> designing, and engineering what could be the best rockets in the country. I'm really nervous. It's like my first year when we're doing something so big. Sophia Yunan is one of the team leaders. The nerves are because these two Shelby teams went up against 800 others across the country in a rocket challenge. Only 100, including this Shelby team, had good enough scores to move on to the Nationals in Washington, D.C. I haven't been able to sleep because of it. I. <laughs> like, I just constantly think about it. I'm just so excited to do this. I'm nervous, excited, ready. William Hoff says the parameters of this competition are strict. They have to launch their rocket, reach 850 feet, and it has to happen within 41 to 44 seconds. Every foot or second off that mark means points deducted. We have to get this right. We have to set it up right and there's a lot of stuff that goes on. But all that planning, all that prep work, all that design and construction can only go so far without, you know, shooting these up in the air over and over and over again until you get it just right. Well, if you look at the flag, the wind's blowing that way. So it's gonna want a weathercock and go to the north. Three, two, one. It's actually going to land a lot closer to us than I thought don't it was going it, to. Guys, don't catch it. <laughs> and this year, Coach Andy Davis says there's an extra challenge, too. And then they got to return it back to Earth with the egg uncracked and safe. You heard right. Launch a rocket and don't break the egg that it's carrying. Definitely rocket science, which is actually the point. It's the hidden agenda of this competition, getting kids interested in aerospace engineering. Boeing. Lockheed Martin, all the biggest players in aerospace engineering are the ones who put up the money. They need people in aerospace engineering. But for right now, they are laser focused on nationals because the winner will compete at the world competition in Paris. It's about grit. It's about not giving up once you don't think you can solve the problem anymore. We're going to nationals. That's like, <laughs> come on, that's, that's insane. <laughs> oh, perfect. Look how excited she is. So great. So excited. Okay, so again, if they beat and win at the, okay. at, at the Nationals, then they get to go to Paris wow. for the World Competition. And the winning team of the Nationals gets $23,000.